Ghost Breakers Incorporated. You make them, we shake them. Bob Hope speaking. Yes, Paulette Goddard's a partner in this firm. What? You want me to send her around? <laughs> Listen, if I could tell Paulette what to do, I wouldn't send her to your house. Sucker. You know, I never knew there were so many ghosts roaming around loose until Paulette and I got into the Ghost Breakers. Believe me, the cat in the canary was a pink tea compared to this picture. It all starts on one terrible night. Basil Rathbone must be giving a party. That's the night that Paulette inherits a ghostly ancient castle off the ghost, I mean the coast of Cuba. The place is filled with mummies and spooks that walk at midnight. There are murders and death warnings planned to frighten Paulette and me, but we ain't frightened. I'll match you to see who faints first. That's what they're trying to make us believe. Such good ghost breakers is that we don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> or do I? Those faces, those terrible faces, I can't stand it. <laughs> Look, there they are again. Don't be scared, folks. No, it's only us. <laughs> you fuck! Oh, 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 don't speak up on me. You know I'm nervous. I could have spilled everything all... Uh-huh. Oh, oh, there you are. If you think that's a tangle, wait until you see what happens to Dean and Jerry when a gang of ruthless killers get on their trail. Somebody's got to move. The heat's on in New York, so they stow away on a cruise to Cuba. Now I know what a sardine feels like. But the chill is on in the haunted castle of Lost Island, when the boys go spook hunting with beautiful Elizabeth Scott. Ah! 